Today is the day we we'll, hopefully we'll be wrapping up the League War. We have call for pizza, which means I am getting war exhaustion for literally no reason. But uh, aside from that, things are going quite well for us. We are, you know, pushing back the Ottomans, which is just the absolute, like, the green tide, right? And if you've, uh, if you've ever played um, Antibellum, or not Antibellum, uh, what is it? Uh, Anbanar, right? But welcome back, everybody, to Buntaku. We are playing uh, as Hanover, and we are fighting the League War right now. Hopefully, 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 able to enforce a... Um, dismantle of the HRE right now. All we need to do is occupy this fort here, which we can do quite easily. Transfer Vienna back to ourselves. And um, we should be able to dismantle the HRE. And as soon as we do that, we will peace out and take as much clay as possible. Because why not? Once you dismantle the HRE, it frees up a lot of aggressive expansion you would otherwise be having. Uh, so there's no, no real downside to that. Now, before these guys get onto Vienna. I want to make sure I transfer it back to myself. Either that or get prepared to go in and start duking it out with them. Yeah, the Ottomans, man. Mm-hmm. Lost the Siege of Rival, you don't say. Interesting. Alright, so let's see here. Brandenburg, Galra, Mines. So Mines is on low enthusiasm. I have to separate piece them before I can dismantle. Right? No? Me or one of my dependents. Huh? Really, but mine's is an elector. Okay, I'm not going to ask questions. But it's saying that it, this counts as the criteria. Okay. 21% chance we dismantle the HRE this month. That's pretty cool. The Ruski's in here. But yeah, this call... Man, call for peace is such an infuriating mechanic. Look at this, man. Gaining roughly 0.1 war exhaustion a month for literally no reason. All right, these guys are getting on to Vienna. Yeah. All right, let's transfer it back over to myself. And um, hopefully just win the siege. All we need to do is win the siege. But you know how it is. Now, these guys are mostly reinforced. So I reckon it's time to get over here. I do not care about those guys. Yes. Fight them, Ottoman. Fight them. Our general just died on the march. Six fire, not the best, but it's fine. Well, I guess it's better than six shock. All right, very good. You know what? Let's just let's just head on in and fight them. We outnumber them. We have cannons. Oh, oh yeah! Look at their infantry getting shredded. Holy smokes! Look at those cannons in the front row getting absolutely obliterated. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no no no! Come on now, 50%, and they're on a 7. Can I dismantle? Oh, I can't. <laughs> I'm getting trolled. I know for a fact I'm about to get trolled here. Oh, they got a disease outbreak. All right, all right, all right, all right. Reasonable, reasonable. <laughs> Let's have these guys head down in here. 64%, I can just percent chance I can dismantle the HRE right now. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Do it. Hey, and we can click the button right here. Ah, such a satisfying click right here. So since I'm about to gain prestige and I already have like as high as it gets, what you do, well, I'll pay off his debts for one. I will um, placate their rulers a few times. And uh, basically, you know, just spend it because if you're going to get it, why not spend it first? A tree has been dismantled. Ah, so good. Now I can uh, become a uh, kingdom, which is cool. Gives us some governing capacity, which we definitely need. We actually lost quite a bit from uh, the centralization like I was doing before. So that's really nice. Oh, yeah. It went down quite a bit. Might as well do it again in these bigger, uh, more more developed states. And then that will allow us to have an even better one. I, that is quite, quite buffed. I uh, definitely should have considered doing that more in my previous run. Either way... Now we have these guys all um, all handled. So now is the time to start annexing everybody. Or, you know, separate. I guess we can just separate piece them. It's not a big deal. So Brandenburg, you will give me this province here. 30 AE. You won't, might. All right, that's fine. So let's separate piece you. I guess I can give some land to Stettin as well. No, come on now. Land to Stettin. And then trade power all your money. How about that? Sounds good to me. 
I will core that. And uh, we will annex you. These guys are just holding on for dear life. I just want to get all these separate pieces done. Since now, none of this matters anymore to me. Oh, yeah. Look at all that money. And I'll get a large chunk of it as well. Uh, you will break off any useful alliances you have. Uh, Iceland. Very cool. Uh, Glacial Vahinia. They're guaranteeing them. I do not care about that, though. Can release Croatia. No. Transylvania. No. This is fine. Everybody. So now it's just going to very quickly start dropping off here. Um, I will probably try to annex as many of the small little OPMs as possible or have them get annexed. Let's see here. Right. Can you still... Religious supremacy. Hmm. Well, that's not really useful considering the fact that there is no Holy Roman Empire down here. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. And my guy is still, still kicking. The AE impact is useful. Okay. I'm going to have to full annex you, good sirs. 51 AE. Gosh, dang it, man. Okay, what about this? Okay, much more reasonable. Much more reasonable. Uh, Galra is owned by you. Mm -hmm. This is fine. Kind of clean it up over here. Cologne will be our friend, I suppose. We're going to have to peace out Ottomans before we can do this, though. Let's have you guys... Um, actually, yeah, I can separate piece these guys because I don't care about that yeah oh yeah definitely piece them out separately and then duchy of cleaves you will get occupied and annexed by cologne oh yeah just wait a couple of months we'll be able to start piecing everybody out separately all right trent welcome to the faith brothers happy to have you before i get black flag very good. Let's get on to Treviso. Hopefully we can piece these guys out. We can indeed take all their money, I guess. Piece them out. Let's get over here onto this fort and then have our boyos grouped up. Are they really going to attack me here? So I'll be in Steiermark. They'll be there on the 20th. I'll be there on the 18th. So they're attacking me. Doesn't seem smart. Okay, I guess I'll force march up to reinforce. Yeah, that's no general either. What are you doing? You guys are damn fools. All right, now I am going to just doom stack. They're going to win Vienna. Son of a biscuit. All right. Let's get up here, fight them on this fort here, and then head back over to the wiener land. They attacked me, actually, because it's... That's fine. All right, very good. Here you go. Lost the Siege of Munich. Sounds good to me. All right. Now, these guys are going to be able to... Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I should be able to separate piece them. It's at zero. How far off are you guys? 40. Yeah. Even though they, the even though London is blockaded. Nice little voice crack there for you. Let's go buy that down a couple of times. The fact that I am uh, gaining war exhaustion for literally no reason is infuriating. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't cannot stop it. Now, the Ottomans here, what are you guys doing? 16. Oh, they would totally be accepting of that. Look at Russia. Let's go. Russia sieging down Crimea. Insert, you know, har, 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 contemporary stuff here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Siege these guys down. Kill them. Destroy them all. Corrupt the child. Feels so good to dismantle the HRE. My, my day just instantly became so much better. It's like, you know, that meme. It's like, you know, men only want one thing and it's effing disgusting and it's that button right there somebody make that meme post it on my subreddit it's a good one all right now britain is not gonna want out but these guys definitely will especially once they siege down crimea and maybe bessarabia oh, 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 oh man oh man oh man we'll call for pizzas going up pretty painfully but uh this is fine Platinate, can I piece you out? Or no, 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 not Platinate. Um, who is this? Mines? Can I separate piece you out for an annex? No. Why is it? Because they still have an army, I guess. Length of war is still only still ten. Interesting. So this war's only gone on for seven years. That's that's not that bad, considering how um. How many men have died in this war? 
you got to consider that a lot of these numbers this, this inclu doesn't include people who've been pieced out we've lost 100 million on our or 100 million 1 million on our side and a quarter of them was actually me <laughs> and how much of that was attrition yeah that's how you do that it is what it is we're taking attrition right here even you can see 23,000 in the hole but I don't care because we're going to get it back I didn't have a single province occupy this entire war how meta is that alright let's have our boys come home Pretty sure the British Navy has uh, been sufficiently gutted. Yep. We've won the Siege of Wien. Let's give that back over to Prussia. Let's have you guys come down here onto this fort. Have you guys come down onto this fort and see if we can coax the Otto Derps into leaving the war. Pretty good. These guys are going to want out, so I will have them get onto their capital here. Prussia will get onto their capital and we'll be able to piece them out now. Very good. Oh, they're a subject. Who are you a subject of? Austria. Oh. Right, I knew that. All right, Crimea has been occupied by Russia. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. They're going for <laughs> Bessarabia. Russia. They got a 665. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, they're just marching right past them. Interesting. Well, maybe Ottomans are just going to let us siege them down. Meanwhile, my uh, my country is getting absolutely ravaged by call for pizza. You know, that's how it goes. So Sardinia is over here. Didn't even realize it. Man, guys, could I get a thumbs up for uh, dismantling the HRE? Doing it in the League War is probably the easiest way to do it. If you can't get like a um, like just a really really nice um, easy, you know, if you can't like get everybody allied and occupied in separate wars. Like, it, you can finagle it, but uh, sometimes it's easier to just wait it out and just do it in the League War. Very good. We're winning sieges over here. Give these to Prussia. Give those to Prussia. And let's just do a quick... Get these guys carpet siege down and peace out the Ottomans. Oh, yeah. But I want to I wanna peace them out for some actual war score. Hopefully they win Best Arabia. Oh, come on now. Yeah. The chances of them winning that is actually higher than 35. It's probably closer to like 80%. These guys are probably about 50%. Oh, they didn't win. Ah, they didn't win that either, though. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to piece these guys out for whatever they're willing to give us. 800 ducats, whatever. And uh, now we have that 100%. So, I can probably actually... What is this length of war, man? Hmm. Austria is my uh, my rival. So perhaps do something like that. Yeah, because these guys... Oh, they will accept that. Very good. Anytime I can separate piece somebody f to, uh, you know, get annexed, I should probably do that, right? Oh, wait, this is... Oh, that's me. Oh, isn't that so funny? Ottomans and Hungary ha or, uh, and Hanover have very similar colors. Okay. So it's only 30 AE for us to take these three provinces. And then I can also... Aye, aye, aye. All right. This is painful. I... So much war score. All right, I'm going to separate piece these guys. How in the world... Do you guys have still have reasons to be... Length of war has gone up. Length of war has gone to 11. It was 10. Hmm... Doesn't seem appropriate. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Because I'd like to humiliate them, but I suppose something like this is good. And these are all occupied by France. Maybe instead of that, give them like kick them out. Very good. There we go. It's over. Utrecht will uh, give those two provinces to me. Munster will get annexed by me. Britain will give Laborde to them and those two provinces to them. And Austria will pay me war reps. Very good. How about it? And the league has been... The, the league war has been disbanded. I am now going to promptly break my alliance with all these guys because I don't actually want them. No need. 
Yep, same with Saxony. Don't need them. I actually plan to annex them now. They say, or just, uh, get the rid of that alliance. Though Russia, France, Prussia, Castile, and Rugen. All right, we need to annex Rugen ASAP. All right, let's uh, click that button. Yep, our crown land is very high now. We can actually click this button and use that to pay off any debts that Prussia would have, which is probably a lot. Oh, not really. Hmm. Okay, good on you, Prussia. Cool. How cool is that, guys? I love that. Always feels really good to have just like a, a very convincing league war and a league win. So now you have to remember, in this next age in absolutism, which is going to spawn here in about, I don't know, 12 years or so, we will get uh, an extra one. Plus, a lot of people don't know about this, but you do get a modifier. Where is it at here? Joined the League War, which gives us Miltech cost and army tradition plus 0.5 for 100 years, I think. Yeah, 100 years. So that's going to... And it will help us out. It's nice. Okay, cool. Um, let's upgrade that fort there. So many level four forts over here that I do not need anymore. Mm-hmm. Let's get rid of maybe this one. And this one. All these provinces are covered by forts. I'll keep the one over there in Utrecht. And I will core up everything. Lots of development that has been taken by us. And... Um, my colony is still doing okay over here. It's grain. Son of a biscuit. I was hoping for those gems. But it is what it is. It is what it is. How about that, though, guys? How about it? How many of you guys have fought the League War, let alone led the League War? It's very rewarding. I know, um, I think I think it is actually still Connor who had mentioned that the performance issues make it uh, less enjoyable. I totally understand that. Let's switch over to an admin focus as well. I should have done that a long time ago. And uh, let's go some missionary strength and convert some subjects, some land. Rugen is indeed Protestant. Let's say improve relations with them. Make sure we are improving with these guys. And these guys as well. I will continue to convert all that I can. As soon as I can core that up, I will. Decent development, man. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it's because of our uh, war exhaustion. War exhaustion is definitely raising the price there. Look at that. 15% from... Or 15% roughly. That's all right. Not a big deal. It's going down quickly. policies are we looking at global settler and global force limit very solid our force limit's already really good yeah absolutely we're gonna be able to uh so let's recall you and see okay it's one two three four because this is all in the same colonial region colonial colombia um so let's send you here hopefully get some gems here what are the chances of gems six percent so it's actually not that good it's likely to be uh, tropical wood. That's okay. I'm not necessarily banking on it being, you know, the tri primary driver of our gems. But um, let's take a look at where we're at, you know. So go to strategic goods, sort by trade val trade name. Livestock, we're up to eight. Not bad. That's uh, almost halfway to getting the what we need. And then gems, we are at three. <laughs> oh, four almost. Four. So that's pretty good. That is all right. All right. Now, I don't think we need that many galleys anymore, so let's go ahead and get rid of some of them. Just some of them, not all of them. Neunorm-Nürnberg. There you go. Just like that. We're finished with the age things. Doesn't really matter. Most of them are not that useful. Now, yeah, we could attack on halt. What's our AE looking like? Eh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it's quite a bit of development. Maybe we need to wait a little bit. Let's uh, switch over to an improved relations guy. Yeah. It's Frisian. Hmm. I'm well ahead of time, so I suppose we could accept a couple of cultures here. Let's go with, like, Westphalian. Probably want to accept Dutch, just because these provinces are both Dutch, and it's going to be decent development. We're going to end up moving our capital over here, our trade capital, at least, once we uh, take the lowlands here. Which, to be honest, I should probably be getting my claims. So let's get some claims. Are you still a subject? 
they're independent now. Holland is independent. Very good, actually. So let's do that here. Now, if I do this, can I? Yep, very good. So you get a little bit of extra spy network growth on them, which is always good. We don't need to be spying on the auto dirt. We are well ahead of time on all three techs, so no big deal with that. Do a little bit of development here. Very good, very good. When I say a little bit of development, I mean a ton. And uh, our manpower pool is mostly recovered by now, which is great. We can drill our armies. Right. Uh, let's split you guys. Have you guys have him drilling. Drilling. What's the force limit over here? 63, so we're good. Yep. Core that up. More exhaustion has gone down enough. I think it's justified. And obviously, we want to continue to work through our idea group here. Extra colonists will be useful. Nice. These conversions are going to help us out as well. Yeah, it's always good to see the uh, HRE dismantled. Makes the rest of the game a lot easier for us. Though I'm still going to make sure I get claims on all three of these provinces. Because look at the development. 27, 22, 20, 32. Like, it's, um, it's going to be painful. They don't have any friends that I care about, though. Hey, we spawned Global Trade. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, no. I, uh, I didn't even think about that. Holy smokes. That's awesome, bro. Hey, what a good episode, huh? So we got 300 free mana, some prestige, which is great. We don't need it, but uh, we'll play KU. And uh, local trade power in Holstein. Very cool. Awesome. All right. Let's also upgrade you and then upgrade you. I said I was going to do that a while back and I forgot it. So we're steering with them. France is going to war with some people in the new world. Don't care. I'm still going to continue drilling my armies. And uh, we'll continue to convert everything. Now, I'll uh, keep the early prestige. I don't need the develop or that. Let's go with production efficiency, I think. Though the manpower recovery would probably be useful right now, but I think we're okay with that. Production efficiency is just going to give us more money. Like an extra four ducats a month. Or something along those lines. Quick maps are hard. But yeah, I'm just going to get my claims over here and then attack. I can attack these guys right now. They're guaranteed by Holland. So that would actually be best. Though I don't... I doubt we're going to be able to do this, man. This is going to be so painful. All this AE. All right. Let's... um. Let's quit doing that with you. Let's have two of our guys on um, outraged countries. Try to prevent any coalitions if I can. It's not super useful, but, you know, it's better than nothing. All right, let's have you guys suppress rebels because we're going to end up having them. It's like these, uh, we're going to have some rebels over in the Dutchlands. But these guys accept that vassalization? I bet some of these people would, yeah? A lot of them really don't like me. Onzebrook would. Goslar would not. You can take a look over here. Offer vassalization. So Onzebrook, Riga would. Franconia would, actually. Really? Huh. Interesting. Memigan eight Augsburg. Rip Augsburg. Let's see here. There's literally no great projects in northern Germany. Literally unplayable. We got the Dutch polders, which gives goods produced, which is a really nice global modifier. Make sure we're getting our claims over here. And I can't believe this guy still hasn't died. 69. Nice. Of course, when I'm trying to lose Republican tradition, my guys live forever. I mean, we can reform if we need to. Let's take a look here. How much are we gaining right now? Quite slowly, actually. Ooh, our average autonomy is trash. What? Goodness gracious. Why? Right, it's because of the provinces that I've annexed lately. Yeah, so I got in a comment asking about this monthly autonomy change. <laughs> the thing is, is it's like... Yeah, I guess. It's like a 25% increase. I don't know. For me, it's just one of those things where I'm like... Do I need it? Not really, you know? That's that's my main gripe about it. It's like, I would rather just force it down, you know? But, no. I think it's reasonable to uh, to put it on there. So that will bring it down a little bit, at the very least. 
as soon as this war is over, we'll be able to, um, we'll be able to get some, uh, force it down. We'll have some rebels. I don't care about the rebels. The Trekian separatists are going to fire. These guys hate me. They will not give me mail access. Yep, they will not. All right, so let's get our army brought over here. Oh, we have mill access, apparently. Cool. Sounds good. All right, lads. Well, that's a great place to call it. I had a blast this episode. I hope you guys did as well. Uh, we are not that big, but we are definitely very powerful. We are the number five great power. We single-handedly carried that league war, I think. I think France did quite a bit of lifting in Castile, and Russia obviously did over here in the Ottomans' lands. But uh, we handled basically all the sieges here in Germany. We dismantled the HRE. And uh, we very much, you know, am starting to consolidate a power base over here. And uh, we are well on our way for Buntaku. It's going to be a little bit of colonial magic over here. We're going to have to do quite a bit of trade steering. We already have trade ideas, so things are going to start picking up here very quickly. Hopefully, you can switch over to a monarchy, get a PU on Britain. That would be really good because Britain has a lot of colonial subjects over here in the New World. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. If you guys are as well, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Ding the bell. Join the Discord, the subreddit, the Twitter. Support me on my Patreon. And uh, check out Chubert, my second channel. Link in the description for if you want some edited style of content. But uh, yeah, that's about all i got for you for today. So this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.